<laughs> ah, yes! Give me some. Woo, that's for you, Papo. <laughs> situation and uh, make an assessment on where I want to glass and watch tonight. Uh, hopefully I can lay eyes on a decent buck. I'm not super picky on this year. I mean, I just want to, I really just want to get back to the basics of just enjoying it. You know, I, I feel like I had the best year of my life last year, uh, buck wise, and uh, I'm super fortunate for that. And so some of it was luck for sure, uh, but I worked super hard last year. And I plan, I mean, I've done the same this year, but man, I just, I don't know. I'm just not going to stress about trying to kill a giant. I just want to get out. I want to enjoy it and, and get back to the roots of uh, what I come from. Uh, kind of what my granddad got me started in. And uh, anybody that knows me knows that recently uh, my granddad passed away. And uh, it's been super hard on me, uh, my family, uh, my grandmother especially. I just left her house. I think that woman gave me great breakfast as always but uh he's my person and uh he was always the first one i called when i killed one so uh i don't know it's just gonna be different this year not taking taking him over there and showing him to him but uh i know he's with me and i'm hoping uh this weekend i can make him proud we'll just see what happens all right guys scouting is underway it's the day before, first day of velvet hunting down here in Tennessee. This is a spot that I kind of, I've never hunted, but I've always checked it out. And uh, it looks really good. It looks really good. And I was kind of bummed out, thinking possibly it was corn in the very back of it. But it looks like it's corn with beans butted up to it, which is a gold mine. So I'm going to make this trek through this bean field. Get back here, there's a block of woods right in the center of a couple fields. I'm gonna drop this camera. If I end up leaving it down here, so be it. It's not Steve. I was like, oh, that's gonna get good. <laughs> There's the What's up, man? Ah, oh, it's so good to see you, buddy. You too. <laughs> hey! <laughs> a monster no. Just when I peed. Just on buds. <laughs> from a very crappy Tennessee gravel road. Um, it's first morning here. Uh, as you guys saw, I scouted yesterday pretty dang hard. I think I covered right at 11 and a half miles. I mapped it uh, from the time I got here to the time I gave up. Uh, I checked roughly, when I say check, sometimes it was just glassing at it. I think it was like nine different places 
and uh, I never really found anything that just knocked my socks off, but I've got a good feeling about the first place that, uh, that I went yesterday. We're going to just give it a shot. It's morning hunt. I don't have high hopes, um, but who you never know. You never really know, so, uh, man, I just hope somebody on the team shoots one tonight or today at some point on this hunt. That'd be great. seen one doe and she was like 800 yards away. Well, I'm actually starting to get concerned like, you know, there's a disease down here, the CWD, and uh, I guess you get so hyped about hunting these deer early with a rifle that you like don't really stop to think like it's not going to be easy because there's not very many of them and I will say this I've been down here three out of the last four years for this hunt and I've always seen a buck but I've always only seen like one buck on the hunt so for the most part with the exception of the very first year but that was four years ago. Who knows how many deer have died from that disease since then. So I'm probably going to give it another 15 minutes or so. I might ease down this tree line. And just see if I can see something down this field. Hopefully go to town and get some fuel. Hopefully. Gotta make it there first. Big deer? I'm ready. There's a sign on that one. Yeah, there's none up there. Yeah. I was a freak for all This is how I know that if the communists ever try to take over the country, we would mess them up. Because this is all over a deer. <laughs> See you guys. All right, guys. So I'm trying to be quiet because I have no idea where these bucks, supposedly bucks, are. Um, our good buddy Taylor, Phil Pot, he hunted a spot this morning. It's really funny. I had intentions on uh, on actually coming back here and and watching this back field. And he was parked on the side of the road. I knew that's where he was going, so I, I decided to go elsewhere, but he actually had some bucks cross the road in front of him and hit this bean field. That's out here in front of me, as you can see. I don't know what they've done. I think they're probably gonna plant something for ducks back in here. Uh, but I imagine this would be some taller weeds and whatnot. Know how to feel about it, but uh, these bucks, if I had to guess, are somewhere bedded right out here in front of me, possibly. Uh, but I don't, I really don't know. Jeremy, 
and Wendell are over here about, I don't know, 600 yards watching the, the edge of the field over there. Uh, Scotty and Nace are over to my left about, I don't know, six, 700 yards. And uh, Taylor's out here in front of me somewhere. But I'm set up right here beside this, where they let water in, I guess. Got some shade. I feel really good about this setup. I'm hid. Got some cold drinks. And uh, should be a good afternoon. It's my last afternoon in the hunt, so we'll just see what happens. I'd just like to see a deer, honestly. Just want to tell you all in. It's not too bad over here in the shade. At all. I've actually been really comfortable. I can lay back. I can lean up and get into the gun. I got my drinks with me. I got signal. But, uh, old Jeremy. He made a comment. I joked and said, well, if a spike comes out, he's in trouble. He said, I bet you won't. I got news for you, Jeremy. I'm not too good for a spike. And, uh, I don't care what it is tonight. I'm shooting a deer with antlers if it comes out. Now, granted, if a spike comes out 30 minutes before dark, I'm gonna let him do his thing for a while. But, uh, given the chance, I will be shooting tomorrow's trophies today. And we'll feel no remorse about it. We are out of meat at the house. Have been for a while. And somebody's gonna say, well, won't you shoot a doe? Because you can't shoot does on this hunt. And I'm in the mood to kill something, so... I know everybody's been there before. Jacob shoot sounded like a cannon going off <laughs> but uh he's shot at a buck so we're heading over here before it gets too dark we were really hoping they'd go through like what we were hoping they would do but I really hope he got one I can see him out there looking so hopefully he finds him Find this beer, I'm gonna be tore up. My phone died and everything. Everybody's gonna love this hunt because it's just a typical Jacob Emery hunt because there's no footage of the deer. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I've tr I pretty much trained myself that if I set up with that tripod, I can shoot to the left, and if I have time, I can swing and just squeeze it off to the right. Three seconds isn't a lot of time, but dude, like I remember I could come to the edge of the field. Like my phone died, I set my phone down. I look up and I seen something flicker and he took off on a dead sprint. And I screamed at him. <laughs> he stopped and he looked long enough and man, I touched it off and I thought I, I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, I thought I missed him. And I'm not gonna get excited just yet because I know how it is. It looks pretty good though, doesn't it? To you? Yeah, I think that's a dead deer. So, dude, he's pretty nice. I tell you what, if I kill him, or if he's dead, it's only because of you. <laughs> Period. Well, I'm glad I could help. Shoot. I kind of felt bad because when we come back here, we walked, and we were, I was all the way down here for Clay to come on the bike. Yeah. And when I got to right there, I realized, man, this whole backfield is dirt. I yeah. thought it was weeds. Yeah. Because that's what it looks like on, like, it the does. Spartan Ford and whatnot. Yeah. And, like, I thought, if the way he talked, they're either bedded in this bush or something. Mm -hmm. Where do where do you think they actually bedded? Um, so I, um, they were so he was bedded in this tree line right here, and so he was bedded in this tree line, and I could see him in that field. So I started trying to push him this way towards you because I couldn't get a shot on him. He came through this opening right to you, and obviously, it's right there. Good shot. We're gonna find him. I hope so. I'll tell you what happened. Um, 
So my phone died. Stephen will remember this story. My phone died. <laughs> I took it off the gun and laid it down. I looked up, and the, uh, the buck come to the edge of the beans. Uh, and before I had time to think about anything, he took off on a dead sprint. And I guess it's because there's this wide open field, and he was getting point A to point B before he got shot at. And I had to scream at him three times, but he stopped, put the crosshairs on him, and everything else is a blur. And I was getting, I didn't really celebrate. I know he's excited. He's more excited <laughs> than me. Oh God, I didn't get too excited because I was scared I missed him. Right here. <laughs> he's out there a little further than that. Well, there's a big nah. one right up there. No, I mean he made it out there about 80 yards. Okay. Well, that's not it. Well, follow the lead. Look right here. Oh, wow. Jesus. This is where he come through the thing. So the blood's right he's here. I know. I'm getting back on it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you should have my Yes, sir. Dude, he's toast. <laughs> he's freaking toast! Yep. <laughs> you can say that. He's being right there. Yes! Give me some. Woo! That's for you, Pepple! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Kill me! Dude. Man, he's gonna kill me! <laughs> There's another one! <laughs> that is a monster! Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Let's go, no. dude! Dude! Yeah. <laughs> I don't he's deserve 11. this. Damn. That's awesome, dude. <sighs> That might be the biggest deer I've ever killed. It's huge. Oh my god. I hit him really high. High alone. Look at this freaking deer. Dude, this is all you, Taylor. Dude, you deserve this deer, not me. Dude, I'm happy for you. That's gotta be the that's the most mass I've ever seen on a deer. Yeah. Like that I've killed. It's a giant. Can somebody message my wife and tell her to go ahead and file divorce papers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. He's dude, that a is a giant. Freaking giant, dude. Steve's gonna be mad. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. What's great about a big buck is you can get any angle and it still looks good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. That's him. Let's go! Nice. High fives! Everybody dude. slap hands! Hugs! Let's go! Gosh dang, man. Oh my god. Congrats, bro. Thank you. Nice, nice. Work, brother. Thank Sick. you, buddy. That's all. Awesome. Is that Parker? Coming over there. Wendell. Parker. I'm glad I didn't shoot you guys. Oh my god. I was so, like, when he was running, and I just, I was like, man, I'm going to shoot again if I can. And he'd, he'd bounce up. I'd see antlers, and I'd see orange in between his tines. I'm like, well, we were waiting for that. That's <laughs> Dude. Dude. Matt. Matt. Matt! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, here it comes. Bow. Dude. Literally from the time I saw him, Parker, to the time I pulled the trigger was like four seconds. He took but off on a dead sprint. I heard him running. I could hear him running over there. At least he only Did had you get him to stop? Or yeah, he stopped. <sighs> well, I got in one of my moods where I was down in the dumps saying, there ain't no deer here, blah, 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 whining, complaining. You know, Jake memory stuff. And uh, just happened to look up last second, with last light, seeing a tail flicker, and uh, <laughs> I screamed at him a couple times, and he stopped, and uh, so now I made a good shot. Right-handed, I'm a left-handed shooter, so I can say I finally killed a 
a deer with a, my opposing arm, right whatever opposing hand. I don't even know where I'm at. Right Freaking now. deer didn't have a chance. He had a chance. Trust me. <laughs> if he'd have he stayed had... in the private field, he'd have had a chance. But yeah, well, th thank goodness for Taylor, man. I am so thankful, dude. Deer like this just. I mean, I've killed some really great deer in my time, but a lot of it's been <laughs> freaking luck, and this was no different. But this is the one I've been sending. God, because this would not have happened if it weren't for you. Period. Appreciate that, dude. I'm just happy for you. I'm just glad that. Since it's your fault, I mean, it's only fair you pay half this accident. Maddie says she. She didn't have a choice. Oh my God! That's a hell of a story. I told you. Oh man. Uh, man, I've never had to do one of these in front of a bunch of people. <laughs> no, it's awkward. I'm not just talking to my phone. Man, the best part about this entire trip and day is just being down here with all these guys. And one guy in particular is pretty awesome is this guy right here. And uh, I would not have killed this deer if it was not for him. You know, most guys spot a big buck and the first thing they want to do is kind of keep it to themselves. And, decided we're gonna spread out and, and pretty much surround this buck and a couple other bucks and, and see if somebody can get a shot at them. And uh, I was just happy to be in the right spot at the right time. Super lucky. There was nothing uh, nothing other to it than that. But nonetheless, I think I've got my biggest buck. He's a beautiful deer. Um, it wouldn't have mattered if my phone wasn't dead because from the time I seen him to the time I screamed at him three times. Was it three or four? It was three. <laughs> three times. Screamed at him three times and shot. Uh, that's all I had, about four seconds or so, but he ran 100 yards, died in the beans, and I'm just happy, like I said, everybody's here to kind of just witness it, and, and uh, the camaraderie is what the hunt is all about, that's for sure, but we'll be back next year. <laughs> and uh, I guess to finally close this out, uh, I lost my hunting partner, uh, grandfather and father to me, uh, going on about three weeks ago and uh, it's been tough on me and my family and uh, there's no doubt uh, that this hunt is dedicated to him and I know without a doubt he was here with me tonight and uh, <laughs> probably had that big old uh, grin on his face uh, when we walked up on him so I'm just, just so excited that it happened the way it happened thank you yeah absolutely all right let's go help our buddy <laughs> Woo, that's for you purple <laughs>